Dear friends, a very warm welcome to this carol service. I'm here in our Priory Church of St John the Baptist, Central Cardiff, which, along with churches across Wales, ordinarily host St John Ambulance Cymru carol services. Due to current restrictions this year, we gather together virtually, but this enables us to do so in a more unified way across Wales and beyond, trusting that the light and joy of Christmas will lift us up, giving us renewed hope at the end of an especially difficult year. In this service, we will hear and receive the good news of the birth of Jesus Christ, and we offer to God our praise in the joyful singing of carols. As we gather together to celebrate the birth of the Prince of Peace, we pray for the world he came to save, for justice, freedom, and peace everywhere and especially at this time for the sick, the anxious and fearful, the lonely and the bereaved, that the love and light of the Christ child may bring hope and healing to all who sit in darkness. We commend all whom we love and the whole of creation to the protection of our Heavenly Father as we pray together the words Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us go then in heart and mind once again to Bethlehem to hear the message of the angels and worship afresh the Son of God. Lesson 1, Isaiah 9, verses 2 to 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you with the joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder, for the yoke of their burden and the, and the bar across their shoulders. The rod of the oppressor you have broken on the day of Midian. For the, all the boots of the training and trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For the child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named. Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness. From the time onwards and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God.
Lesson 2, Luke 2, verses 8 to 16. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see the thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. Thanks be to God. Lesson 3, John 1, verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing 
came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. In peace, let us pray to the Father. There was no room for your son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home and who all live in poverty. Mary, through the pain and distress of labour, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand all we are in pain and distress, particularly those affected by coronavirus. The angel sang, peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in the world. Shepherds in the field, hear good tidings of joy. Give us grace to bring joy and hope to the lives of others, especially through work of St. John's Ambulance Camry. Heaven is coming down to earth, and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all those who have passed through death, and in hope of coming your kingdom. Angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger, receive the worship and prayers. We offer through him who is the word made flesh, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
May the wisdom of the Christ child fill your minds and guide your thoughts. May the love of the Christ child fill your hearts and guide your words and deeds. And may the grace of the Christ child fill your whole being that you may live as the children of God. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this Christmas tide and always. Amen. 2020 will go down in the history of St John Ambulance Cymru as the year when so much changed, so unexpectedly, so rapidly, so profoundly, as the COVID-19 pandemic swept across the globe. Some of our communities in Wales have been hit amongst the hardest. The impact on people, services, finance and plans unprecedented. We were all shocked and deeply saddened to hear of the death of our close and hugely respected colleague, Gareth Davis, who lost his life to this dreadful disease while serving as a paramedic. Our thoughts and prayers will be with Gareth's family and the families of so many of our colleagues and friends who have suffered as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic this Christmas. In common with the rest of Wales and indeed across the globe, large parts of what we do as an organisation have either been shut down or severely affected, having an enormous impact on our income. Despite this adversity, St John Ambulance Cymru has stepped up to the challenge, with volunteers and staff increasing our frontline capacity in the fight against the pandemic, some redeploying from support roles. Through their selfless devotion to duty, we are able to provide additional ambulance crews, patient transport, falls assistance, staffing for field hospitals, delivering prescriptions in rural communities, training and upskilling NHS staff, and so much more. I make these points not to dramatise the situation, but to demonstrate how our St John colleagues not just in this time of national and international crisis, but day in and day out, personify the motto of the Order of St. John, for the faith and in the service of humanity. We are part of a worldwide family of St. John, who face similar or indeed worse travails than us here in Wales. They too will be doing all they can to help their communities, making sure they're safe and saving lives. And it is so important at this time we remember them and give them all the support we can. The pandemic has also deprived us from meeting in large numbers and enjoying the fellowship of our organisation. At this time we would normally be holding our carol services across Wales. To celebrate the birth of Christ, embraced through the fellowship of St John Ambulance Cymru. I thank our Priory Dean and the volunteers and staff we produce this virtual service to share with our family of St John. Christmas is a time when we think of those less fortunate than ourselves. It is also a time to pay tribute to our colleagues for all they do for St John Ambulance Cymru and for their service to the people of Wales. The next few weeks we'll see the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccination programme. Here again we will see St John Ambulance Cymru playing a crucial role in supporting NHS Wales. We're not out of the woods yet, but it is time for hope, for optimism and renewal. On behalf of my Board of Trustees, we express our sincere thanks and deep admiration for the selfless service of our volunteers in St John Ambulance Cymru and to wish you, your families and friends, a peaceful Christmas and a happy, healthy and prosperous New Year. <laughs>